The Fayetteville Cumberland Parks and Recreation Department is showing their appreciation for the military by serving those who have sacrificed for their country. A handicapped accessible minibus is available to transport wounded warriors to activities across the county. James McMillan, Recreation Superintendent, tells us about this unique service that gives back to those who have given so much for us. We're actually in a, a newly purchased minibus. Um, pride and joy of the department right now, something that, that we're very proud of. In 2004, the United States Paralympic Committee recognized the need for post-rehabilitative programming, recreational programming for the wounded warriors who were coming back from overseas. In 2008, uh, Fayetteville Cumberland Parks and Recreation was recognized for its unique opportunities and for the, the strong support of its military community. Um, we work real, real hard with our, our partners over at Fort Bragg and pride ourselves in that relationship. So being recognized for it was really nice. And through that recognition, we were invited to make a trip to Washington, D.C. And we had the opportunity to work with the United States Paralympic Division, which is a, a division of the United States Olympic Committee. And we also worked with the National Recreation and Parks Association. And we visited Washington, D.C. and had the opportunity to speak with several of the congressmen and explain the importance of recreational programming and also get across the importance of the rehabilitative programming for the military as well. So in the visit, there were numerous wounded warriors who attended, um, members of the U.S. Paralympic Committee, members of the U.S. Paralympic team, uh, to include several gold medal winners. So very impressive visit, and the visit was very successful. And in 2009, we had the opportunity to apply for a grant through the National Recreation and Parks Association. And in doing so, um, we ended up being one of, the, one of the finalists, if you will. There were 126 applicants that went in across the United States, and out of the 126 applications that were submitted, only 12 were grant recipients. Out of the 12 who were grant recipients, uh, Fayetteville Cumberland Parks and Recreation received the largest grant in the United States. So very, very proud of that. And through that, um, we, we received a $25,000 grant, and the $25,000 grant was matched by the department, and we had the opportunity to purchase the minibus. So very, very, um, very proud of the opportunity. It's a, it's a small way of giving back to these men and women who have served and fought for us, and uh, just a small way of saying thank you. In applying for the grant, uh, we worked very, very closely with the MWR out of Fort Bragg. Uh, who, who helped get us a few letters of support as well. We had been programming with them all along, and we're offering a num numerous programs throughout the, the city and the county. A lot of the soldiers visit the parks. Uh, we have a wheelchair basketball league that some of the participants actually participate in or some of the soldiers participate in. Um, we have a cycling program. Uh, we, we actually give them an opportunity to uh, uh, participate in tennis out at Lake Rim Park, and then we also have an archery class out there. So um, a lot of a lot of activities that have been ongoing, and we gained a lot of support from the military community. With all the different programs that we're offering, the soldiers have to find some way of of getting to and from these locations. So with the use of the minibus or the purchase of the minibus, now we're able to go to Fort Bragg and actually pick up these soldiers and transport them back and forth to the recreational facilities. So the primary focus and the primary use of the bus is for the wounded warriors. When the bus is not in use for the wounded warriors, then we have the opportunity to use it for the Gilmore Therapeutic Recreation Center and our participants. So. Uh, the bus should constantly be rolling. It won't be sitting still long. Uh, we actually received uh, national rec recognition through the National Recreation and Parks Association magazine, and um, they recognized the, the efforts that uh, we've been putting into the programming. So um, a, lot of, uh, a lot of positive feedback, a lot of um, comments in regards to the support that Fayetteville Cumberland uh, Parks and Recreation offers to its military community.
In addition to being recognized in the magazine, we were also recognized at the National Convention with a Patriotic Civilian Service Award, which was presented from the Department of the Army. The soldiers that have been participating in the programs um, are, are very excited about the use of the bus. Um, there's uh, a lot of opportunities that are going to be afforded them. Most of them at this time are being transported by family members and this is going to give them an opportunity to uh, make some travels independently um, and, and that's part of the, the effort of the programming is to help them regain their independence if you will. Recreation is important to everyone uh, but especially important to our wounded warriors because it gives them the opportunity to get out and uh, socialize and interact with our, with our regular community. It gives them an opportunity to get their freedom back and, and to regain their mobility. Um, recreation, uh, parks and recreation is, is vital to the communities. Uh, I, I heard it once said that the, there were no great cities without great parks. We definitely want to invite everybody to uh, partake of the parks and recreation programs. We, we offer a little bit for everyone. And if you have an interest and you don't see the program, if you'll let our staff know, we'll make every effort to uh, put something together and, and fit those needs because our goal is to uh, program for the needs of the community. And certainly want to invite anyone who is a wounded warrior or affiliated with our military community to contact us and let us know of your needs and we'll certainly work out efforts there as well.